Hi everyone. So we were seeing about the structure and function of forest ecosystem. As I said, it is having biotic components, abiotic components. So biotic components means we will be having producers, consumers and decomposers, right? So in the forest, what are the different types of um, like uh, producers apart from trees, um, like shrubs um, means? Um, like uh, very dominant species of trees and all we can see in the forest only like uh, acer, betula and pine, uh, cedrus trees this and all you can see in the forest and uh, the biotic components includes the like uh, like produces we have seen and uh, the different consumers are primary consumer, secondary consumer and treasury consumer primary consumer are like um, herbivores which depends on the plants directly for food like uh, bugs, uh, spiders, uh, hands, uh, everything we can see and uh, the larger animals like um, elephant, uh, giraffe, uh, everything you can see they are also dependent on uh, producers only secondary consumer means like they feed uh, uh, they, uh, they uh, depends on the primary consumer like um, lizard frog snake fox everything comes under secondary consumer treasury consumer treasury consumer means um, they are the secondary carnivores and uh, like uh, they include uh, uh, tiger lion like lion and tiger they depend on only the secondary consumers so uh, in the biotic we have uh, con primary consumer, secondary consumer and treasury consumer. Overall we have, we had uh, producers also. And um, the decomposers will be having um, uh, like uh, the decomposers are like bacteria, fungi, okay. Um, streptomyces means um, aceto, uh, acetinomyces. Um, means what it depends upon the dead and uh, uh, dead organisms it's, it eats only the dead and uh, decayed uh, organisms they like um, what they will do means like um, they will uh, uh, you, uh, 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 they, they will just have the nutrients in the dead organisms whatever available they will just consume the nutrients and abiotic components Abiotic components means the organic and the inorganic substance and um, like in addition to the dead organic uh, uh, debris uh, it is found that, like uh, there are uh, few more substances in the forest that comes under this category. So here I have given different um, images for uh, prime producers, consumers and decomposers. See different plants and uh, consumers in the forest ecosystem you can see and finally the decomposers in the forest ecosystem right so we already knew that um, like uh, pro, uh, biotic components means which produces food right and even the consumers also comes under this category so um, in the grassland um, like now we are just going to see about the um, in the grassland ecosystem what are the biotic components and what are the abiotic components and everything so in the grassland ecosystem like um, um, herbs uh, shrubs uh, this and all comes under the primary production of biomass and um, the most common species also like uh, cyanodon uh, have given some examples and um, this in this grassland ecosystem see whatever may be the ecosystem whatever we have to categorize it into a biotic components and abiotic components so in the biotic components there are like a primary consumer secondary consumer and treasury consumers primary consumers uh, like uh, they are like herbivores which feeds directly on the grasses right for example cow buffalo sheep goats deer rabbits etc besides them the, there are like lot of uh, insects uh, but in the secondary consumer you can see the carnivores which fed which feeds on um, like uh, that feed on uh, primary consumers for uh, food means herbivores example is like frogs uh, snakes uh, lizards uh, birds fox jackal etc and finally the treasury consumer means which feed on the secondary consumer is said as um, the treasury consumers so again uh, like um, uh, in the grassland ecosystem uh, 
the decomposers means we already knew that it's bacteria and fungi again we have biotic and abiotic components so in the grassland ecosystem the producers consumers and decomposers you can see in the presentation so um, grasses you can see in the producer part and uh, the rabbit snake everything comes under the consumers and um, finally the decomposers like mushrooms you can see and um, the next one is the desert, desert ecosystem desert ecosystem means it's the region that has no participation means no uh, that doesn't have that plants deserts are defined as an area with annual participation is less than 250 millimeters per year so around the 17 percentage of earth is occupied by deserts but um, and but it is categorized as very hot in the days and very cold in the nights um, so deserts are located in the southwestern united states means mexico north okay so um, in the desert what it will uh, like um, it doesn't have the human participation or even the plants animals anything so again in the desert ecosystem also we have biotic component and abiotic component so biotic component consists of primary organisms sorry producers consumers decomposers so producers means like um, very few grasses and very sp few uh, species and uh, very hardy grasses and all comes under this category whereas in the consumer means which is capable of um, living in this condition and uh, there are some birds and mammals like camels right they, they live in the deserts only and decomposers means due to poor vegetation with um, like uh, they will be um, very poor uh, vegetation so they will be depending upon the dead organic matter like again bacteria and fungi so abiotic component means because of this high temperature and very low rainfall the organism the organic substance are rarely found or very poorly found in this soil and uh, next one is freshwater ecosystem again the freshwater ecosystem is having biotic components and abiotic component it includes submerged free floating like um, uh, like uh, uh, bio in the freshwater you can see um, uh, hydrilla azola typha like this very macrophytes and all we, we can see and um, uh, very suspended lower uh, phytoplanktons uh, we can see in the water this and all coming coming under uh, pro producers consumers means like we again have primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer so primary consumer example means ben benthos um, zooplanktons this and all and secondary consumer means uh, the insects uh, which eat this one uh, primary consumers and uh, tertiary consumer means large fishes and uh, uh, feeding on the small fishes he said as tertiary consumers and finally decomposers means um, bacteria fungi acetinomycetes so uh, this and all comes under uh, decomposers so the abiotic component of freshwater ecosystem is like um, um, they are uh, these are like inorganic and uh, organic substance we the, both we have actually uh, by the bottom soil present in the water when it is dissolved um, some um, dead organic matter also uh, been uh, present over here so there are abiotic component in the fresh water and uh, the next ecosystem is marine or ocean ecosystem again the marine or ocean ecosystem is said to be like um, uh, aquatic system so again um, we have a 71 percentage of earth surface um, we have gigantic reservoirs and all uh, so this marine or ocean ecosystem are very different from freshwater ecosystem because of these are very salty whereas freshwater is not that salty again we have biotic components and abiotic components in the marine or ocean ecosystem so in the uh, biotic component we have producer consumer and a decomposer producers have uh, phytoplanktons uh, seaweeds everything mangrove vegeta uh, uh, vegetation everything um, is possible